Hey guys, Chris from Adaptuation here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 3 from the May 2022 PUA Paper 2. If you want to check out the solutions to the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and the link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. Okay, so it says Rail Manufacturing Company manufactures automobile parts model AF2. The following information is available for the direct costs used to manufacture one automobile AF2 part. So we have direct costs for making each AF2 part. Material, 7 kilograms of steel, bought at a cost of $11 per kilogram. Labor, 2 hours in the cutting department, 3 hours in the polishing department. All labor is paid at the rate of $15 per hour. Calculate the total direct cost of producing one AF2 automobile part. Okay, so this is some simple maths. So I like to put my solutions, for even for things like this, in a kind of a statement form. That's just how I was trained, right? You don't have to. You can put it in simple, like, mathematical statements if you want. So as you'll see, I've headed up Real Manufacturing Company, total direct cost of producing one unit of part AF2, right? So I'm starting with the materials, which is 7 kilograms for each unit, by $11 per kilogram, which is $77 per unit. Then I have the labor in the cutting department. So the cutting department, we use two hours at a cost of $15. And then the, the polishing department is three hours at a cost of 15, which gives us 45. And when you add up all three items, you're simply gonna get $152. Now, the second part of this question says, calculate the total direct cost of producing 800 of these parts. Uh, Again, I'm not sure why this is in an accounts paper. This should be in a math paper, but okay. Total cost of producing 800 units. What we're going to do is take the cost of producing one, multiply it by 800, and we're going to get $121,600. Okay, that's it for part A. Let's take a look at part B. Okay, so part B says the following information has been extracted from the books of Real Manufacturing Company for the year ended 30th April 2022. So we have factory wages, which is usually direct factory overheads, admin expenses. So that doesn't go in the manufacturing account. That's a red herring to catch people who don't know what they're doing. Purchases of raw materials, purchases returns of raw materials. Inventories at first May 2021, as he started here, so these are opening inventories, work in progress, raw materials. Inventories at 30th April 2022, that's the end of the year. So these are closing inventories, work in progress, raw materials, and we have revenue. That might or might not be relevant. So the first thing they want us to do is to use the information provided in the table on page 14 to prepare an extract showing the calculations to arrive at the cost of raw materials used for the year ended 30th April 2022. Okay, let's take a look at the information. So uh, again, I headed up my stuff because they gave you a table this time, right? With space to put a heading. Put your heading. It attracts a mark or at least a half mark. Now, what we need first well, we could start with the opening stock of raw materials, which is the 42,000. Then we could add the purchases of 24600, from which we could subtract the returns of 780. Now that could you could you could put a line for cost of materials available for use, but you don't have to, it's not mandatory. And the last thing we put is the 28,000 of closing um, raw materials, and we subtract that to give us the cost of raw materials used, right? 253,820. Uh, so that's it for that part. The next part, let me pull it up real quick. Right? They ask us to prepare the company's manufacturing account to show the total cost of production of manufactured goods for the year ended 30th April 2022. And they give a nice little format here for eight marks. Okay, let's go back to the information very quickly. So head up properly a statement. Real, sorry, manufacturing company, manufacturing account for the year ended 30th April 2022. So we start with the prime cost. So we're going to start with that same cost of raw materials use of 253,820. Now the table tells us factory wages 1067. Unless otherwise stated, factory wages can be safely assumed to be direct labor. We're going to add those two together to get prime cost of 365,520. To which we're going to add our overheads of 86,000. And that's going to give us the current period's manufacturing costs. 
And all we do from here is adjust for the work in progress. We add the work in progress at start, 12480. We subtract the work in progress at end, 34,000. And we get our cost of production of manufactured goods of $425,000. But there's one more part of this question. Let me pull it up real quick. So part C says, during the year ended 30th April 2022, Real Manufacturing Company produced 50,000 AF2 automobile parts. Use the total cost of production figure from B part 2 to calculate the unit cost of producing one part for the year ended 30th April 2022. So all we have to do is take the 425 from just now and divide by the 50,000. Again, this is a math question. I like to put my answers in statements. That's just how I was trained. You don't have to. You can put a simple math equation, but it will involve taking the cost of production of 425, which we just found in the previous part of the question, dividing it by 50,000 in number of units and getting $8.50 as the production cost per unit. And that's about it for this question. Okay guys, so there you have it. That's the solution for question three from the May 2022 PUA paper two. If you have any further questions about it, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you when I have a chance. If you want to check out any more videos, I'm gonna put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out my website where you'll find some interesting PUA handouts. Anyway guys, as per usual, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye.